Welcome, this is Jason Yeo from Nutanix. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the network uplink for the nodes in an AHV cluster. Here's the Prism Central dashboard. I'm going to use the Cluster Quick Access widget to navigate to the Prism element of my AHV cluster. Here's the Prism element of my AHV cluster. I'm going to navigate to the network dashboard. Here we can see the three hosts of my cluster, host1, host2, host3. Let's have a look at host1. Here we can see I have got four network uplinks put into the same bond BR0-up. It consists of uh, two 10 gigs and two 1 gigs. We can also see the bond type here is active backup. Let's click on uplink configuration. Here we'll see there are three different policies we can choose from. Active Backup, Active Active with Mac Pinning, and Active Active. Only one uplink is used in Active Backup. In Active Active with Mac Pinning, all uplinks are used, however, there's no dependency on switch configuration. Active Active, however, does require the switch ports to be configured in the lag with LACP for negotiation. Next, we select the speed of the NICs we want to have in the bond. Do we want all NICs, just 1 gig, or only the 10 gig NICs? Here I want all the 10 gigs, and I click Save. The reconfiguration is applied one node at a time. This process will take a couple of minutes to complete. The task has completed. Let's take a look at the first node. Here we'll see the UI is still showing four uplinks in the bond. This is normal. It will actually take a few more minutes for the UI to be updated. Let's have a look again. This time you see the bond has only the required 10G uplinks. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.